<laughs> Sorry, I always do that. Somebody. <laughs> um, hey guys, good morning. Today is um, day six of our relief effort. It is Tuesday. I don't exactly know what the date is, but all I know is it's Tuesday. And today we are headed to a village called but Sai Don Kong. Okay, and um, Sun Tamayot is a campsite. But anyways, Ban. Anyways, this village. Sai Don Kong. But Sai Don Kong has 181 families, and they got hit by the the flood as well, but not as impactful. They weren't in the direct. Um, you know, line of fire, to, so to speak. But they did get flooded, and um, all their families are safe and sound. And um, we would like to, they've requested my niece here actually for help. They says that um, no aid has come to them because they're so much further away than the central camp, which is um, where the district is at. So they have been quite um, neglected of any foreign or local aid. And then next to that is also a, a, a refugee camp um, uh, housing about 200 families up there. They were displaced from Baksong, which was originally located at the Daohyun Coffee, but that's a private holding. So they had to leave to get another campsite or another refugee camp. Anyways, um, we still have a couple more days to unload all of our donations. We appreciate all the help that's coming in, but um, again, as I expressed in my earlier message, that the biggest problem we have, the biggest obstacle, is transportation. Getting things there, even though it's low in miles, it's just uh, really hard to a access. And the other thing is, I know that a few donors have expressed to me about donating cash to the, 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 the families, but there's lots of issues of why we don't think that it's a good idea for us. I mean, it's great that others are doing this. I, I applaud you. Anything and everything is helpful. But as far as Jay Lau is concerned, we have seen firsthand the impact of even our delivery is. It's so much logistics, so much bureaucracy even. All the donations have filtered in from so many organizations and private businesses and individuals. And there's a hard to just funnel it to the camps because again, of, um, of, of transportation and the bad road condition. And, and there's uh, quite a bit of a mayhem in each of the camps as people are all wanting the same things. They all wanted uh, food, shelter, um, essential goods, and all those things have been donated to them a lot. Everybody's generosity have poured out from various countries. The whole country of Laos has been amazing at showing love and support to one another. It's just, um, you know, being able to release all these things to the victims is taking some time, and that's why Jela prefers to do it directly and having a direct impact instead of having to wait for them to get their donated items. Um, cash, uh, one thing that I really wanted to discuss is the fact that we wanted to wait until a little bit after math. We want to gather as much data as we can about the families and the 11 villages that have been affected. We want to be able to donate as much as we can to all the families. Every single penny that you donate to Jai Lao will be used towards the victims. Please rest assured and don't worry. And it's all going to be in timing. If we don't give it to them today on this trip, we'll do it another trip. But as I was saying, we need to assess the situation, work with the social welfare office, and have them ga gather all the data of who the neediest families are, which village was most impacted impacted by this incident. And then we will come back in a couple of months at the max to donate money to them. Um, we're thinking that we're not gonna donate equally. Like some villages have got hit harder, so they have more loss, so they'll be receiving more funds. And some receive, you know, didn't get hit as hard, so they'll be receiving a little bit less fund. And we need to do this per village individually, not as a whole group. So we go into each village and, and donate based on their needs. And, and in addition to that, we are also, Jai Lao is gonna be starting a flood relief donation drive. And we're going to have a list of all the things that we stand in need of to bring to these um, wonderful families. 
we will take about two, three weeks to gather all that, and then we're going to ship it into a container, and then we're going to bring that to the 11 villages, and which is about over a thousand families and six thousand over six thousand people, and give it to them. Present each family with a large bag of donations from us from America, along with cash donation to them, and that's probably going to happen with about two months. We can get everything all done, and hopefully um, the officials will be able to gather the data for us. Um, if not, it might take longer, but that is our goal within two months to come back and to provide even more relief to them when everything else has subsided. I just want to thank you guys all dearly for just continuing pouring in your love and support. I have never seen our Lao community on an international level come together as magnificently as, as, as the way this has. Yeah, it's the, they say during a tragedy do we see the beauty in humanity and this has been just the epitome of the beauty of what humanity is supposed to be. We've got Lao temples from all over the country that have reached out to Jai Lao wanting to donate um, money and gathering it from their communities. We've got people here all over Vientiane that are donating and just driving out in, 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 in just herds to come down here to provide aid either through businesses or through their own personal um, donations. Um, you know, the beauty of it all is that when, when we're faced with a tragedy, we are there for each other. And uh, I know that in the darkest hours, there is a bright light shining, and we have all shown that we can shine for each other. You know, alone we can make, a, make just a ripple, but together we make huge waves. And the other analogy I like to say is that uh, one grain of sticky rice is only a, sticky, uh, a grain of sticky rice, but when you put a bunch of sticky rice in a bag, that's going to feed a whole village, and that's what we're all doing right now when we come together. So the team is waiting for me right now. We are going to go back to the, our big truck to bring to to um, transfer all of our donations into the trucks, and then travel our three hours to the next village and to the camp as well. But I know that I want to show you guys what I've been living in for the last few days, since case any of you are, are interested in ever doing a mission with Jai Lao in the, in the future, volunteer. Again, we all pay out of our own uh, pockets, airfare, our food, accommodations, all of our own expenses. So we have to budget ourselves, and this is the past five nights. I've been living here, I'm gonna have my niece pan in. This, um, I'm staying with my niece, Muki here, who's been really, really vital to helping me with this mission. Here's our two beds. It can't get better than this, right? And we even got a TV. We have, we have great Wi-Fi, by the way. Internet connection, well, I wouldn't say great, but compared to other places, it's pretty darn good. I even got a mirror and a cabinet there. Okay, Mookie, sweetie, you gotta show them. She likes to have the AC on really cold, and I get, I get super cold here, and I'm like shivering, right? But when I turn off, she gets hot, and here's the bathroom. Toilet. This hotel is actually Vietnamese run, but they do a really good job. They, it's quite clean. We haven't had time to really eat anywhere else. We've literally been eating breakfast and dinner here because we're like exhausted by the time we come home, so we just all eat here. Yeah, that's the bathroom. It's glorious. And you can't get better than this. It's 80000 a night, only $10 a night. I'm getting used to it. I just need to put a picture of my family up on the wall. <laughs> Um, that's all I have to say and I just want to say the support that you've given keeps me strong, um, helps me to move forward and um, progress and not have any fear and want to do even more. I will try to give you as much update as I can and the only reason that I haven't done live in the villages is because the connection is kind of weak and I don't want to give you bad quality um, you know, videos. So if I can get better quality, I'll definitely go live from the villages, and if not, we'll do just the, the videos. On that note, uh, goodbye, and I'll see you at the next village. Bye, and kop